Hi guys, so in this video we're going to see how we can create this very nice fireworks countdown here right inside of After Effects using the fireworks new year countdown template for After Effects. So let's get started. I'm going to minimize this for now, this video and jump right inside of the template. Now first things first, this template will work with Trapcode Particular, so Trapcode Particular plugin is required for it to generate these fireworks etc. So make sure that you have Trapcode Particular 4.1 or a more recent version. So with that said we can start off in here, so we can jump right inside the project window and here we'll find a folder named Firework Countdown, you can open that up and in here you will find three main folders. So this first folder is for the fireworks, the second one is for the countdown compositions, which will be your scenes where you will design your countdown. Then you can render your project right over here. So let's start off with the fireworks and see what we have in here. So we have the first folder here named fireworks. And then in here there's the second folder named fireworks pre-rendered bonus files. And basically these are almost the same, but the difference is that these are fireworks using Trapcode Particular and the, these are pre-rendered version of those fireworks just so that you would be able to work a little bit faster with the, with the template basically so that you don't have to generate the fireworks from start if you don't want to change anything from them basically. So if we jump inside this folder you will find four main folders in here. The first one is your main text logo firework so if you would like to use the uh, your main text and, uh, and logos you will find them inside this folder and in here if we open that up we can see a number of a number of fireworks in here the first one is a logo firework which would be used in the end for the logo of course then you have text firework 01 text firework 02 03 and you also have the the flare fireworks which are these that are used for the countdown then you have these three text fireworks in here which you can use in the end to say for instance happy new year or something like that so that's with this this folder we will have a look at that at a later stage as well then you have the secondary fireworks which basically have some other decorative fireworks that you can use with your with your with your countdown you have six of these very nice then you have rocket trails which you can use to emit your fireworks from so first there comes the fire the, the rocket and then the firework would explode that's that the trail and then there is the flares which you have four of these which have different flares etc now if we jump to the second folder in here you don't have in this folder the the logo firework instead you have the text fireworks right over here that are pre-rendered so you won't be able to change these so this folder is for the pre-rendered and the others are basically the same so you have the secondary fireworks which are pre-rendered version of those fireworks the rocket trails flares etc so that's that so let's jump now inside of the scenes directly and we can start customizing our countdown so countdown comps open that up and in here you'll find four main folders so you have countdown 01 countdown 02 and in here you have countdown 01 and 02 but these are with pre-rendered elements so basically the first two are raw kind of compositions where they use the fireworks from the first folder in here and these are using pre-rendered elements from the second folder in there so that it will be faster for you to work with so if you are not going to change the composition a lot you are only going to change colors for instance I would suggest to use it with pre-rendered elements since it will be much faster for you to work with since it doesn't have to generate all those fireworks all together each time so with that said, I'm going to enter in, the, in this one and see how we can, can customize this. So countdown 01, 
you have two versions you can also go to zero two if you would like i'm going to enter inside zero one and this is loaded up right over here and let's zoom in a little bit in here and in here you can find this so if we go to a different point you will find how this countdown would would progress so first thing as you can see in here we have a black background right now we can of course add our own background if we would like right now it is black but if we would like to drag and drop an image we can so i'm going to simply drag and drop from my explorer window so simply drag and drop an image of a cloud in here right over here inside the project window and then you can place it at the bottom in here just behind everything in here and there we have it of course right now this is very very bright but i'm going to reposition it like that and then i'm going to go to effects and presets in here and find something like curves the effect curves drag and drop it right over there and bring the brightness down of that so that it is barely visible so like that we have some texture in the background so that is an option for you if you'd like to add that background you can also select curves from effect color correction and curves from here so that's done now what if we would like to change colors of these it is very easy to, to change colors so all you need to do is find the firewire that you like would like to change the colors of so for instance if we go to this part you can simply pick a firework from here and that would be this firework right over here and you're simply going to go to your effects and presets type in hue in here and find the effect named hue and saturation and simply drag and drop it right over there you can of course find it from here as well so effect color correction and hue saturation and as you can see we have added two of these now so let's delete one of those and now all we need to do is simply rotate this wheel right over here inside master hue you will see what color you have in here and very nice so as you can see now we have turned that to green simply rotate the, the wheel until you find the color that you like and you can do the same for any of these so if we go up we'll find the text fireworks in here so that would be 10 simply drag and drop the effect in there and change that color to whatever you like very easy nine we can do the same so that's how you would change the colors so that's for the colors now another thing that you can do is of course change the position of these now of course i would recommend that you using it as it is since you have have taken some work in designing this to look like it is but if you would like you can also customize this and make it your own so if you would like to change the placement of these fireworks all you need to do is basically pick any of these layers in here and position them wherever you like so this is completely modular for you so you can place them wherever you like and you can also maybe rotate them slightly press R on your keyboard and rotate it slightly just like that and of course I'm not going to stay loading it up but you can see how it works just like that so you can of course change the placement of these the same with the fireworks in here you can simply change its placement now of course this will have its trail that comes up to, to it so this would be this one as you can see so that would be that kind of rocket in there so make sure that you pick that up as well and that is that one and you can of course move this wherever you like as well just like that and maybe scale down and up etc so that's for customization features with the fireworks now if we go to the end of this we will find that there are a few differences in here 
So in the end, we'll find that, that those text compositions where we can say Happy New Year, for instance. And let's scroll up in here and we can find them right over here. Text Firework Happy New Year in here. They are loading up right now, so let's wait for them. Of course, this is right now rendering in full resolution. You can make it lower if you would like it to render it a little bit faster. So simply by going to quarter, for instance. And there we have our text. So we can, of course, customize this. So let's go to the first one here, happy. Double click on that. And right now, of course, it has this different text on it. So you can type in whatever you like in here. You can show this text so you can see what you are typing. And then I'm going to type in welcome, for instance, in here. Perfect. And let's make that font slightly smaller so that it would fit right inside of here. So something like 100. And maybe if we go a little bit back in here, we can see a different frame. Perfect. So even if it is 150, I think it would be good. Perfect. Now let's remove that text, make sure that you hide that text and go back to countdown zero one here. So perfect. So now I'm going to go to the second one here and I'm going to type in two. Wait for it to load and there it goes. Perfect. And the third one. You can, of course, type in whatever you like in here. And I've typed 2021 and there it is. And if you go here, you can see it changing in here. Of course, once again, you can change the placement of these. So if you would like it to be in another place, you can simply change its placement like that and rotate it, etc. So that's for the text fireworks. Now inside, you can also find these text fireworks from here as well, if you'd like to change them directly. So those would be these three. And now if we go to the end of this, in here is where the logo would, would show up in the end. So to insert our logo, all we need to do is go to place your logo here, double click on that. And now we need to import our logo from our Explorer. So drag and drop our logo file. Let's press OK. And there's my logo in there. So simply drag and drop it inside this composition. Place your logo here. Press S for scale and make sure that it fits correctly in here. Perfect. And then let's go to logo firework. And now what we need to do is simply Click on this trace your logo in here, layer, go to layer and auto trace. Make sure that your settings are similar to this, are like this actually, and make sure that this is set to off. So this is ticked off just like this and press OK. And as you can see now, for us it has done an outline of that logo. And automatically, this should translate, as you can see, in the logo of Fireworks. So very nice and very easy to do in there. And if we go to Countdown 1 now, we should be able to see it right over here. Perfect. So that's basically it. Of course, if you'd like to change the color of that, you can simply go to click on that layer, go to Effects and Presets, bring in a hue and saturation, and simply turn the wheel just like that. Very nice. So that's basically it. Now you can go ahead and render, or else you can continue watching and this for a little bit more so we can see how we can even customize the look of certain fireworks. So if you are using the first one here, countdown zero one for instance, without pre-rendered elements, you have the option to change even the the look of these of these text element, etc. in here, and the look of these fireworks. So 
Of course, this will take much longer to load since it is rendering all these fireworks at once. But if you would like to use that, you have the option as, for that as well. And here it is, here's our scene. And uh, now, for instance, if you would like to change, for instance, the number 10. And we can go ahead and go to text firework 10. Simply double click on that. Of course, you will need to be in, in the one without the pre-rendered element, so countdown 0, 1 in this case. Simply double click on that and you will enter inside of the firework in here. And if you go to control panel, you can change things like the color of that directly from here. There are these tiny particles in here. You can change also the color of those directly from here. As you can see, you can change also the particle amount. So simply give it a different particle amount. And let's go to a different point in the timeline for that to load up. And as you can see, those will increase. So if we increase it to something like two. Now, when you do this, trap count won't update automatically. So usually what I like to do is play a bit with this round randomness. And then it will trigger to update. And as you can see now, we have loads of particles. So let's change it back to one. Or 0 0.5. And do the zero explosion randomness to 1.8. Perfect. So then you have the outer particle size. You can even change the size of these. So you can do something like 10 if you'd like it to be very big. Or one if you'd like that to be smaller. So play with these and you can create exactly what you want in here. You have the inner particle size, which is for those right and there. And then you have exposure randomness, which if you set this to zero, you will have very, very straight fireworks in here without any randomness, as you can see. But if we set it to something like five, it would be much more random and more like explosive. So something like 20 would really highlight that, as you can see. So let's leave it to five, for instance. And then there is also the wind, wind amount, which if we make that to something like a hundred, you will see that it will push the flare to the side in this case. Perfect, very, very nice feature. And you can also make it to minus hundred if you would like to push it to the other side. Just like that. And then also the flare height. So if you'd like it to go up higher, you can increase this, for instance, to 2000. And as you can see, it will go up double the height. So let's make this, for instance, 1200. And there you go. And of course, one final thing is you can also edit the text in this. So you can, for each number, you can, for instance, type them like this. So change the, the text completely in there. And in this case, we will need to increase the particle amount. So let's increase the particle amount. And change a little bit the randomness so that it, it will trigger. Perfect, so you can see how you can you can customize this completely. Of course, you can type in anywhere in here. So that's that. And if we go back to countdown zero, one now, you will find that that has been updated right over here. So of course, let's wait for it to load. And there we have it. Of course, right now there is a lot of particles in there. So we might need to make them either a little bit smaller or so if we go back in here, we can, for instance, make that one or two, let's say two. And that should look a little bit better, as you can see in there. So as you can see, you have many different options in here. So go ahead and play with this. You can change any of these flare fireworks in here and basically tweak, tweak them exactly to your style. Of course, we only recommend this step 
this customization if you have a powerful computer that you can handle all these particles at once. So if not, we would recommend to use the, the, the one with the pre-rendered elements right in here. So we're basically done. I'm going to go and now finally render. So let's go to render your project here. Double click on render in full HD. And by default, we have this first scene here selected. You can of course select any of the other scenes, but I'm going to render this one and now go to composition. And from here, select add to render view. Of course, you can add before your music file. So simply drag and drop your music file from your Explorer window and then drop it, drag and drop it right over here. And then you can go to composition and add to render queue. Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. The Media Encoder would open up. And as you can see, it has loaded for us our scene. And now we can open this up to give it its settings. So now that it has opened up in here, you can give it its settings. So let's uh, give it a name in here, find your render destination from your explorer in here and simply type in what, whatever you like in here. So this is our countdown, countdown fireworks, click save. Make sure export audio is set to on if you would like to use that. And uh, usually I like to use Azure Lux4 as a format. Keep all the settings as they are and then target bitrate. Use something like 35, so that is quite high. And then use maximum render quality. Press OK and press the Start Queue button. And that's basically it. Of course, the rendering time would depend on which version that you have chosen from these. If you have chosen countdown one or countdown two, it will take quite long since you are rendering all those pre-made fireworks. But if you are using the one with the pre-rendered elements, it should be quite fast as you can see in here. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoy using this template and find it very useful. Thank you very much for watching.